Our exploration starts with a fundamental truth, the incredible power of thought. Thoughts are not mere reflections or random firings of neurons. They are the architects of our reality. Every significant invention, every monumental achievement, and every profound transformation in history began as a single thought in someone's mind. Consider this. Every structure you see, every piece of technology you use, every artwork that moves you, all began as a spark in the realm of thought. These thoughts, when nurtured, grow into ideas, and these ideas, when pursued, become the realities we experience. But it's not just about the grand achievements or visible changes. The power of thought shapes the very fabric of our daily lives. Each thought we entertain is like a brush stroke on the canvas of our existence. The thoughts we repeat, those we dwell upon, become the dominant colors of our life's picture. If we paint with colors of fear, doubt, and limitation, our world takes on those hues. If we choose instead to paint with thoughts of possibility, love, and abundance, our world brightens with those colors. This is not just poetry. It's a fundamental principle of our existence. So I ask you to become mindful of your thoughts, for they are the seeds that grow into the garden of your reality. Moving deeper into our journey, let's explore the terrain of emotions. Emotions are often misunderstood, dismissed as mere reactions or feelings. However, emotions are much more, they are the language through which our body speaks to us. Each emotion we experience is a response, a communication from our body in reaction to a thought, an event, or a memory. When you feel joy, your body is resonating with a thought or experience that uplifts you. When you feel fear, your body is responding to a thought or situation perceived as a threat. These emotions are powerful messengers. They dictate not just how we feel, but also shape how we view and interact with the world. For instance, if you constantly feel anxious, your view of the world becomes tinted with anxiety. Your decisions, actions, and reactions are all influenced by this emotional backdrop. Understanding this, we begin to see the importance of being not just mindful of our thoughts, but also conscious of our emotions. We must learn to listen to these messages, to understand their origin, and to respond to them in a way that serves our growth and well-being. Emotions are not our enemies, they are guides, pointing us towards areas of our life that need attention, healing, or transformation. As we continue, we confront one of the most significant barriers to growth, our past. Many of us start each day with our minds anchored in the memories of yesterday. Our brains function like memory banks, constantly replaying the familiar emotions and experiences of our past. This habitual cycle of recalling, reliving, and responding to past experiences keeps us rooted in a predictable, often limiting future. To break free from this cycle, we must first become acutely aware of these patterns. This awareness is not about judgment or criticism, it's about observation and understanding. Ask yourself, how often do my thoughts turn to past events? How frequently do I relive past emotions? This habitual living in the past can be comfortable, even seductive, as it's familiar. But it's also limiting. It keeps us tethered to a reality that no longer exists, preventing us from fully engaging with the present and stepping into the future. Breaking free from the past means consciously choosing to step into the present. It's about deciding each day to leave yesterday behind and embrace the now. This isn't about forgetting the past, but about learning from it, growing from it, and then letting it go. It's about understanding that the past has shaped who you are, but doesn't have to dictate who you will become. The pivotal step in our transformative journey is conscious observation. This is the moment when you transition from being submerged in your thoughts and emotions to becoming an observer of them. When you consciously observe your thoughts, 
you're no longer the program running on autopilot in the background. You become the consciousness observing the program. This shift is profound and powerful. It's the first glimmer of awakening to the quantum you. Conscious observation is like turning on a light in a dark room. Suddenly you see what was always there but previously hidden in the shadows. You begin to notice patterns, habits, and reflexes in your thinking and feeling. You start to recognize the automatic responses that have dictated much of your life. This recognition is the first step to change. It's the moment when you realize that you have the power to choose your thoughts and emotions. You're no longer a passive recipient of external stimuli. You're an active participant in the creation of your reality. Through conscious observation, you begin the process of reprogramming your mind, of choosing thoughts that align with the future you want to create, rather than the past you've left behind. Now we approach a critical juncture in our journey, stepping into the unknown. This is where true transformation begins. Embracing change means leaving behind the familiar shores of your past experiences and thoughts. It requires stepping into uncharted waters where the outcomes are not predetermined by your past. This is often uncomfortable, even scary for many. It's a leap of faith into a future that is yet to be created, a future that you have the power to shape. To step into the unknown, you must first accept that the familiar feelings, thoughts, and habits you've grown accustomed to may not serve your growth anymore. It's about consciously choosing to create new thoughts, to wire new circuits in your brain. This process is about crafting a new version of yourself, a version that resonates with the future you desire. This journey into the unknown is not a one-time event, it's a continuous process. Each day, you're presented with choices to fall back into the old patterns or to forge new paths. The unknown is where possibility lives. It's where creativity, innovation, and growth thrive. By embracing this space, you open yourself to new experiences, new emotions, and ultimately, a new destiny. Creating your future begins in the present moment. It's a powerful realization to understand that you don't have to wait for external circumstances to change, to start experiencing the emotions of your desired future. Imagine teaching your body to feel the emotions of your future success, love, or joy before these events have physically manifested. This act is a profound exercise in mind over matter, when you begin to cultivate these future emotions in the present, your body, which experiences life through feelings, begins to believe that the future you're envisioning is happening now. This belief is not a delusion. It's a powerful tool for transformation. Your body's belief in this future creates a new biological state, aligning your physical being with your mental vision. This process of creating your future now is about more than just positive thinking. It's about embodying the emotions and the energy of the future you desire. It's about aligning your thoughts, actions, and feelings with this vision so consistently that your brain and body begin to live in this future reality in the present moment. This alignment is what begins to draw the experiences, people, and opportunities into your life that resonate with this new state of being. Your personal reality, the world you experience daily, is a reflection of your personality. Your personality, made up of your consistent thoughts, actions, and emotions, is the blueprint of your life. To change your life, your personal reality, you must evolve your personality. This evolution is not about becoming someone you're not. It's about shedding the layers that no longer serve you and embracing a fuller, more authentic expression of who you truly are. Changing your personality begins with becoming conscious of your unconscious thoughts, behaviors, and emotions. It's about noticing how you speak, how you act, and how you react to different situations. It's about identifying the emotions that have become so familiar that they feel like a part of you. This identification is the first step in changing them.
as you start making these changes, you begin to create a new narrative for your life. A new thought should lead to a new choice. A new choice should lead to a new behavior. New behaviors create new experiences, and new experiences produce new emotions. These new emotions start teaching your body to understand what your mind has envisioned. This is how you embody a new personality and in turn, create a new personal reality. Memories are powerful because they are linked with emotions. The stronger the emotion, the more vivid the memory. However, when we live by these memories, especially negative ones, we confine ourselves to a past reality. To evolve, we must break free from the emotional ties that bind us to these memories. The quantum you is not bound by past experiences or future anxieties. It exists in a state of potential where every possibility is available. Awakening this aspect of yourself means aligning your thoughts, actions, and feelings with the infinite possibilities of the quantum field.